talk about like maybe how to set it up. Okay, so first you need to do the alignment. So um, okay, there is two uh, there is two method you can do the alignment. First is next to the antenna there is an auto button. Press it for several seconds, and then you will find out okay the, all the motors which connected will do the alignment at the same time. So that is the first method. And the other method is actually on the apps, you will see under the focus, and then there is an auto button. So at the same, you press for like maybe uh, uh, three or four seconds, and then they will also do uh, alignment too. So, but the only difference is when you press the auto buttons on the apps, and then some setting you haven't been saved, and then will be disappear. So I will recommend you to connect it, to, to press the buttons onto the remote control rather than the apps. Okay, so on the screen, it's pretty easy. So you will see there is three columns, focus, iris, and zoom. Okay, and the focus and the iris is pretty like the same. So the AB is stand for, okay, you can set the AP point. So when you set the A point and then you set the B point and then the, the, um, um, your phone or the iPad, uh, iPod touch will be vibrate and then tell you that, okay, you are already been set. And also when you turn the knob or maybe you control the, uh, um, the focus uh, through the touch screen and then once you reach the point and then they will also give you a vibrations. Okay, it's very easy to set up. Okay, so. Let us like let me do a, 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 a simple setup. Okay, for example, like okay now. Okay, I want to set this on A. Okay, so then I set this on B. So now, okay, I already set up in A B point. So rather other than okay, you can actually using the knob to control this and then through the uh, uh, through the shots. Other than that, you can also using the touch screen and also at the touch screen you can probably like zoom in or maybe zoom out to get more precision like focus. It's the same on the iris and also the same on the zoom, okay? But on the zoom, there is something different, okay? Other than the uh, zoom and then they will see there is a button here. So you can do, okay, you can do a, 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 a servo zoom, which is very smooth and easy through a touch screen here. At the same time, you can also using the uh, um, the side button here, and then you can touch this, and then to do the zoom, it's pretty easy. But uh, the one that I want to show you is the timer functions. So okay, in other than other than the AB point, and up here you will see there is a numbers. So that is the numbers. You can type a, a time, for example, in second. For example, like five seconds, which I want to do the zoom. Okay. So when I set this, and then you will see there is a five numbers on the on the box and also there is a two arrow what is mean the two arrow the two arrow is means that like okay you want to do the zoom in and then they will also automatically do the zoom out so if you want to only want to do the zoom in or zoom out double tap it and then you will see the arrow will back into one direction only so how to every way up first you have to make sure that like you have to set the ab point if you haven't set the ab point this function haven't been activated so once you pr set the ab point and then, okay, you press the, uh, the, the, the timer buttons. So then, okay. Okay, so I put the B point first. Okay, so then, okay, it will do the zoom automatically. So it's very easy. And then everything is been just like maybe easy to put everything through a touch screen. So that's why how dramatic or how easy and then maybe you can control your wireless floor focus through a wireless apps.